Only the light of Christ's love can eliminate the darkness of hatred. Our Daily Bread Today's encouragement from the Our Daily Bread devotional was written by Randy Kilgore. During the Boxer Rebellion in China in 1900, missionaries trapped in a home in Taiyuan Fu decided their only hope for survival rested on running through the crowd that was calling for their deaths. Aided by weapons they held, they escaped the immediate threat. However, Edith Coombs, noticing that two of her injured Chinese students had not escaped, raced back into danger. She rescued one but stumbled on a return trip for the second student and was killed. Meanwhile, missionaries in Chenshu district had escaped and were hiding in the countryside, accompanied by their Chinese friend Ho Tsun Kui. But he was captured while scouting an escape route for his friends in hiding and was martyred for refusing to reveal their location. In the lives of Edith Coombs and Sun Kui, we see a love that rises above cultural or national character. Their sacrifice reminds us of the greater grace and love of our Savior. As Jesus awaited his arrest and subsequent execution, he prayed earnestly, Father, if you are willing, take this cup from me. But he concluded that request with this resolute example of courage, love, and sacrifice. Yet not my will, but yours be done. His death and resurrection made our eternal lives possible. Today's Our Daily Bread devotional scripture reading is from Luke chapter 22, verses 39 through 46. Jesus went out as usual to the Mount of Olives, and his disciples followed him. On reaching the place, he said to them, Pray that you will not fall into temptation. He withdrew about a stone's throw beyond them, knelt down, and prayed, Father, if you are willing, take this cup from me. Yet not my will, but yours be done. An angel from heaven appeared to him and strengthened him. And being in anguish, he prayed more earnestly, and his sweat was like drops of blood falling to the ground. When he rose from prayer and went back to the disciples, he found them asleep, exhausted from sorrow. Why are you sleeping? he asked them. Get up and pray so that you will not fall into temptation. That's today's scripture reading from Luke chapter 22, verses 39 through 46. And now let's pray. Lord, may the world see our love for each other and the deeds that come from it as a great testimony to the bond of unity we have in you. May they want to know you too. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Today's encouragement was provided by our Daily Bread Ministries.